You probably eat vegetables from time to time, and if not, you really should. The vegetables we eat are grown in soil and is therefore in direct contact with the home of millions of microorganisms. And some of these will eventually find their way onto your food and down into your stomach if you don't clean your vegetables properly before eating them. However, despite how gross this might sound, most of the organisms are harmless to humans, but not all of them. So now let's see what hides in your food. The first thing I noticed when I looked at the different samples I took from the vegetables was that it looked like an insect cemetery. Some of the dirt on the vegetables were actually not dirt at all, but dead insects, and they were everywhere. Some of the insects were even covered in mold. But not everything was dead though. The biggest living animals I found crawling around on the food were mites. And this wasn't just a freak one-time coincidence, I found more than one. I actually found at least two of every organism you see in this video. And the samples were only taken from a few vegetables for a total amount of a couple of grams of sample. One of the most abundant organisms I found were nematodes. These are commonly known as roundworms, and you might in fact have heard about some species of roundworm before, namely the hookworm, the pinworm, and the whipworm. These are human parasites, but the ones found on the food are most likely unharmful. Most of the worms I found were living, but I also found a couple of dead ones. Another abundant animal I found were tardigrades. Some of them were unfortunately also dead, but luckily I was able to find some living ones too. Tardigrades are known for their ability to endure extreme conditions like enormous amounts of pressure, radiation and temperatures from absolute zero to boiling. So it's not surprising that they not only live on your food, but also reproduce here. This is the skin of a tardigrade with four tardigrade eggs inside. This little fellow is an insect larva, and it will eventually turn into a small fly known as a midge. Some of the adult midge flies are able to bite humans and are known to spread disease. This beautiful red spotted thing is another small worm like lava I found a couple of. However, I have no idea what kind it is, so if you are a biologist, entomologist or just know the answer, please let me know below and I will pin the comment. The last type of organism I want to show you are single-celled organisms. These were also present in huge numbers, maybe only outnumbered by the millions of bacteria living on your food. So the next time you're eating a salad, you now know that you aren't eating it by yourself. 